looking to bring something new to the table this year? Well, you're in luck. There are a ton of amazing games on the horizon for 2023, from fantastic TV shows coming to RPG form and incredible indies that deserve a spot at your table. Whether you like exploring weird paintings in a hex crawl, becoming an anime hero, fighting off zombies, or being cute little dinosaurs, we've got a whole host of different games for you to check out. All the links for the games are in the description so you can fund on Kickstarters, wishlist on websites, or even pick up a copy of the few that have already been released this year. So, I'm Maddie from Dicebreaker, and these are 20 RPGs to check out in 2023. The role-playing board game is becoming an RPG in its own right this year as the Gloomhaven the role-playing game launches on Backer Kit in 2023. Using the original fantasy setting of the series, players can form their own adventures away from the board. Although many of the mechanics you're used to in the game will be carrying over, like the card-based combat system as well as classes from the original and the upcoming icy sequel Frosthaven. And if you're already familiar with the game and want to have a go at being a gloom master when it releases, then your hours of playing will actually come in handy, as the RPG promises to be cross-compatible with the game box you already own. Or if you're new to playing and have always wanted to try the game, then the Cephalopair team think the RPG is actually a great entry point for anyone curious about Gloomhaven's epic dungeon crawling. So, are we going to be swapping cards for character sheets? Well, we'll find out in 2023. From the depths of a dungeon to adorable dinosaurs, Tales of Primordia is the next release from Tales of Equestria Maker's River Horse Games. The My Little Pony adventuring delight was a hit with people of all ages, and now we're heading back in time for more cartoony fun with their prehistoric RPG. Tales of Primordia is an original setting where players can create dinosaur characters, have fun with friends, and make the world of the leafy bale to the tussle wood a better place to be. It looks to be another great entry point for younger RPG fans, bringing families together to play something genuinely enjoyable without a chunky rulebook. Fans of Tales of Equestria will find more of what they love with something new like the flexible magic system that lets players cast all sorts of interesting spells, as well as a whole new setting to explore. And let's be honest, who doesn't want to create a cute dinosaur OC? Coming to Kickstarter May 16th, get ready to sink your dino claws into an all new adventure. The Walking Dead comics have been adapted into many different mediums over the years, so it's no surprise that we're finally getting an RPG too. In it, player characters will be pushed to their limits as they face the zombie apocalypse, exploring the world and trying to survive. There's also the chance to settle down and create a base of operations to make your time in the world a little more enjoyable. You can expect to bump into some recognisable NPCs from the show too, although whether that's a good thing will kind of depend on the game that you're playing. The RPG will take most of its inspiration from the long-running TV series with the show's network AMC working closely with Free League to create it. And as a publisher, Free League has done some really great editions of other media over the years, from the likes of Alien to The Lord of the Rings and Blade Runner. So we have high hopes for the Walking Dead universe RPG too. A Kickstarter of the game is live right now and it's going till April 5th, so you can grab an axe, crossbow, or just a can of food and head out to lob some heads of some Walking Dead. Monty Python's co-curricular medieval reenactment program, other than just rolling off the tongue, is an upcoming RPG about running your own comedic games in the Python universe. You'll be creating your own stories with elements from across the group's comedic history, having medieval England as a basis for most of your play, getting to be both the buffoonish royals and struggling peasants. 
There are recognisable elements like Order of the Gourd or Order of the Shoe from Life of Brian as religions running throughout, but the designers have been very clear that this isn't just a setting to play from, but rather an entire toolbox to create your very own Python-esque comedy. The Game Master takes on the role of Head of Light Entertainment, with different personas to pick from bringing a unique fill to each session, while the players, of course, make things go wrong and let comedy and chaos ensue. The RPG was successfully funded on Kickstarter last year and is available for pre-orders on Backerkit, with copies estimated to arrive in October this year. Superhero fans and Marvel movie aficionados take note as the Marvel Multiverse role-playing game is finally getting a full release this July. A playtest has been available since 2022 showing off the D616 system that lets players take on the role of their favourite heroes in battles with famous comic villains across the multiverse. So you can swing in as Spider-Man to save the day or smash straight to victory as Hulk, defeating Thanos and his minions in your very own way. Of course, there's also room to create your own heroes and villains, letting you rewrite Marvel history in your game. However you want to play, the Marvel Multiverse RPG is your chance to be a superhero in the universe you love. So pick up the playtest now to get cracking, or get ready for a multiverse of fun in the summer. If, however, the MCU isn't your go-to movie marathon, then you could also check out my video of the best superhero RPGs to find out more options that let you don a cape and mask away from Marvel. We've already had a taste of a Warhammer RPG with Soulbound and Wrath and Glory, but designers Cubicle 7 are heading back to the grimdark future of 40k in Imperium Maledictum. For those who love big tanks, fancy power armour and battle nuns, then your time has come. Rather than the huge space wars you might be used to playing in though, this 40k RPG looks to put you in the boots of ordinary citizens solving mysteries in the Imperium. It's a chance to explore the lore of Warhammer Universe away from the battlegrounds, letting you dig deep into who is pulling what strings. Players will work under a powerful patron who raised you out of drudgery to a life more exciting, although for all the new freedoms you can enjoy, you can't ignore the fact that this job will probably be the death of you. The RPG is set to release early in 2023, so keep your eyes and ears open and prepare yourself for the gritty new mystery. Inspired by the classic Arthurian legends, King Arthur Pendragon is getting a new and updated 6th edition this year, which creator Greg Stafford is describing as the ultimate edition of the game. Subtle changes promise to culminate three decades of work on the RPG, bringing it to new audiences and beloved fans alike. Pendragon is set in medieval England, and although many high fantasy RPGs are inspired by the tales of Arthur, Pendragon really gets into what makes them interesting, and explores the idea of knights and chivalry. You play as a knight, of course, forging a name for themselves through deeds for their lord, a love, or just for personal glory. And while that may sound like you go on epic adventures and show feats of arms, Pendragon has unique rules to help you roleplay your knight's journey too, giving you ideas for how they might behave in any situation, from gaining a lady's favour to facing the king himself. King Arthur Pendragon 6th Edition is set to release in early 2023, with a quick start available now to download for free so you can get straight on your horse and ride off into the sunset. Publisher Possum Creek is back with another cosy experimental game after Wonder Home's great success. Yuzaba's Bread and Breakfast sees you playing in a strange hotel, and rather than creating new characters, you'll be taking on the role of the unique cast of people who already live there. These characters have their own set of roleplay ideas, called Bingo and Whoopsies, that provide ways for players to assert themselves and delicious flaws to indulge in. It's completely different than most RPGs that encourage you to craft your own personas, but the possibility of getting to experiment with a predetermined personality 
functionality sounds like a really fun concept. If you're not sure how that'll work though, I'd highly recommend their actual play podcast to get a wonderful glimpse into it. Weird, wonderful, and something totally new. Yazeba's Bed and Breakfast is actually just released, so head to the description to check it out and start playing right now. The Old Gods of Appalachia is an anthology podcast chronicling weird stories around the mountainous region in the US, a place steeped in folklore and mystery. Inspired by real events and history of the area, the stories are meant to scare, intrigue, and inform listeners. Now you can bring that very same feeling to your own table with the Old Gods RPG. Monte Cook Games, the publisher behind RPGs such as Numenera and Invisible Sun, is bringing this game of exploring creaking dark woods and rolling fog to life. Players will hunt down the strange creatures that call the mountain their home, but it'll never be quite as easy as a simple track and kill. The forests have a voice, and things more ancient than the soil work in the darkness. So fans of modern horror, cryptid stories, and folk tales will be able to grab a torch and head out to catch beasts later this year as Kickstarter copies are set to reach homes in May. Plus, there are still late pledges available now too if you want to wander the twisting trail in Old Gods of Appalachia. Critical Role's publisher Darrington Press has got exciting things on the horizon with many new games coming out this year, but the one we have our eye on is Syndicult. Dungeon master of the show Matthew Mercer is using his incredible world building to take us somewhere totally new. Players will join warring mob families in a magical city who closely guard secrets from each other. You'll be vying for power with the game's mechanics encouraging storytelling at every single turn. However, that is pretty much all we know so far. There is set to be mysteries, a magic system to explore and cast spells with, and curious artifacts to examine, and maybe steal? I mean, we're mob bosses after all, that would be my first move. And while we don't have a ton of information, everything we've heard so far sounds interesting, and with a mind like Mercer behind it, we'll be sure to keep an eye on Darrington Press for more in 2023. If you rewatch Kiki's Delivery Service every year yearning after the small town adventures and becoming a magical witch on a personal journey, then you'll be pleased to know you finally have something else to do with your next Sunday afternoon. Kuriko A Magical Year is a solo RPG heavily inspired by the Ghibli film and novel about heading off to an unfamiliar town and journaling your experience as its resident witch. You use tarot cards to explore what happens and write letters back home each season, with the game ending after the year is up and you deciding if you're going to stay as the resident witch of your town. The art is in lovely sunset hues that you can see come to life in a physical or digital book that's available to pre-order right now, ready to whisk you away for a magical adventure in 2023. Kuriko is literally all of my daydreams come to life in game form, so I can't wait to hop on my broom and journal away the day. If you're a fan of anime and classic video games, then we found the RPG for you. Break heads to Kickstarter end of April and looks to be an exciting new title chock full of inspiring artwork. Originally started as a hack of retro clone Labyrinth Lord, Break has evolved into its own standalone game, with remnants of the Inception sticking around through its use of a d20 system and ability scores to determine skill checks. However, from there, it very much blossoms into its own game and world. Classes are callings and range from magical sages to roguelike sneaks, heretics, raiders, and both a battle princess and murder princess, so I know what I'm playing. It looks like exploration is going to be a big part of the game too, with a point crawl system to track your adventurers from location to location across the world with bicycles, chocobo style birds, wagons, and flying airships all available to do it in. The themes of classic fantasy blend with magical technology teamed with the gorgeous artwork makes Break an RPG high on our list to play in 2023.
Set in the early noughties in the fictional town of Deep Lake in rural New Mexico, public access invites players to explore the mystery of what happens to a television channel that vanished. TV Odyssey was a notorious public access station that ran in the late 80s slash early 90s, but its fate and history are the cause of much speculation in certain corners of the internet, especially yours as the players. You join together as young adults to revisit what happened to the channel, returning to Deep Lake once more to uncover the truth, but you'll likely find out more than you bargained for. Public Access is an RPG inspired by early internet horror stories, creepypasta tales, and urban legends, as well as the found footage horror genre. It's based on the apocalypse world Brindlewood Bay and the Between Systems, and if any of those intrigue you, you can actually check out our one shot of Brindlewood Bay with creator Jason Cordova, where we solve mysteries as old ladies. But if you're looking for a game that's nostalgic, weird, and terrifying, then you can pick up Public Access right now. Inspired by eponymous artist Hieronymus Bosch's work, this RPG allows you to explore fascinating worldscapes as you make her escape from the astral terror known as The Follower. In the game, the player characters make their way through strange worlds inspired by the work of Bosch, with the follower close on their heels the entire time. The player characters don't know what will happen if the follower catches up, but they can tell that it's not anything remotely good. <laughs> Throughout the game, the GM will use the various paintings of Bosch in order to illustrate the different worlds the player characters find themselves in. Hieronymus uses a hex cool gameplay system, meaning that players will travel across maps that represent different parts of a chosen painting. And it's also out right now, plus the designer gave us a discount code which you can check out in the description to pick it out and explore gruesomely gorgeous art with friends as soon as you convince them that it's a good idea. Look, there's a garden of good as well as evil. Okay. From Best Left Buried creator Soul Muppet, Inevitable retains the same sense of dread, knowing that your character is likely going to be dead by the end of a session, but this time you're in one of the most deadly environments possible, a fantasy western. While you may be in the Wild West, you're still playing the most iconic fantasy archetypes like knights and wizards, but of course with a gunslinger thrown in there for good measure. Your crew have been tasked with the monumental task of preventing the apocalypse, but you enter this RPG knowing that that's kind of an impossibility, allowing for a lot of exciting, if not morbid, role-playing opportunities. If you enjoy the idea of a last stand in the lonely wafting sand, you should check out this RPG when it comes to Kickstarter this year. On Kickstarter in only four hours, Relic is an RPG about suffering the consequences of the actions made by the generations before you, as well as taking down the colossal titans that roam the land. There are three settings described in its initial launch, an expansive green wilderness, a land torn asunder by war, and a vast bleak ocean. What makes this especially interesting is the talismans your characters can acquire, with over 30 to choose from that bestow special powers and abilities. It's also virtual tabletop ready, allowing you to get started straight away on Roll20 and Foundry, as well as allowing you to stick to what you know if you wish to play a D&D 5e version of the game. If you're a fan of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, this RPG is going to be exactly right for you. However, they have cited several other works as their inspiration, including Shadow of the Colossus, Monster Hunter, Princess Mononoke, and Moana. If any of these are your jam, you should watch out for its release this year. From the designer of witchy journaling game Apothecaria comes a brand new solo experience with For Small Creatures Such As We. Inspired by Becky Chambers' Wayfarer series, you take on the role of a small spaceship crew doing mostly low-paid work to get by from delivering cargo to salvaging wrecks to the occasional crime for a space pirate. No matter where your latest job takes you, however, you always come back to focus on the crew and your ship. 
Whether that's making sure you have the right food for those aliens traveling aboard, or the appropriate systems are installed to make things run smoothly. So far, there are over 120 different travel events and over 180 planet events which you'll reveal through a deck of cars, so your experience can take you to all corners of the galaxy. For Small Creatures Such As We has funded on Kickstarter and is heading to playtesting early this year, so make sure to keep an eye on Blackwell Writer on Twitter for the latest updates and to snag your copy and blast off to space. What is very fun and unique about this RPG about things at a coffee shop going catastrophically wrong is the fact that it's actually intended to be a one-shot in the middle of a game you're already running. Coffee and Chaos might sound like a day at the Dicebreaker office after a cheeky cappuccino, but it's actually a delightful little RPG by Cobblepath Games. The themes are wonderfully on point with this game, with the rules being printed on a seafold menu just like you would find at your local coffee shop. Any character can play in this world, and this creates an extremely entertaining fish out of water scenario. How is your knight going to deal with a coffee machine on the fritz? Will your druid wild shape to make it a cat cafe for a day? And how will your gloomy assassin tackle someone doing a dine and dash? Actually, we probably already know the answer to that question. <laughs> The bottom line is that your coffee shop AU may be much closer to coming to life than you think. As you might have guessed from the title of this RPG, your oxygen levels are very important. Launched for Zine Quest 4, one breath left charges you with the exploration of a now abandoned spaceship, evaluating the situation and reporting back with what exactly happens there. With major alien isolation vibes being at play here, this solo RPG is a must for those with a fascination for the unknown. In order to create the layout of the ship you're exploring, you draw from a custom deck of cards each playthrough, creating a unique run every time. The key to successfully completing the expedition is tracking your oxygen levels, because if you're a tad too thorough or venture too far, you might not make it back before you enter the last gasp phase, in which the only air you have left to breathe is what's left in your spacesuit. If you run out of cars to discard, the game is over. You're sure to already be waiting with bated breath for this one, so it's a good thing you can check it out right now with the link in the description. All the Witches launched its Kickstarter in March this year and already inspires that cosy witchy vibe that we all crave. You'll be able to attend magical school, explore one of three established regions, and play as a human spirit or celesti. The world has been crafted by a team of industry names bringing dense forests and glittering islands to your games. Plus, your chosen heritage will do more than just change your character's art. Each will battle with their own internal struggles, from morphing into terrifying monsters to facing inner greed and jealousy. All the Witches boasts a fantastically fleshed out system, allowing players to use it as a conduit for some of the most immersive witchy gameplay out there. The RPG has already been funded and is hoping to make PDFs available by the end of 2023 or start of 2024. So you could be donning your witch's hat sooner than you think. So those are 20 RPGs you should get excited for in 2023. However, that certainly isn't all of them. If you want a great list of cool indies to check out, head to the description of this video to read through a Twitter thread that we started where tons of creators shared their games for us. Apocalypse Road Trip sees a group of ordinary people trying to make their way in a changed world. See you Space Cowboy lets your group become outlaws working paycheck to paycheck across the galaxy. Heroes of Cerulea is a pixelated dungeon crawler where you can solve puzzles, fight monsters, and gather keys. Or there's Witch Fated Souls, where you play as a modern witch who sold her soul to a demon for your power. And that is just a fraction of the cool games that are out there. So please check out the thread and see what you can discover. I could have made this entire video like a hundred games long, but I hope you enjoyed the list I've put together so far and found something to add to your wish list for 2023. All of the links for the games will be in the description, so check them out. 
Let me know what you'll be playing in the comments below. And if you enjoyed, please support us by giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel. We're always covering the latest and greatest in tabletop, so stick around to find even more games. Or head over to dicebreaker.com for daily news and updates. But until the next time, I hope you have a lovely day. Goodbye.